Yo, it's cracking, guys. It's Elijah. So before I get into it, I just want to mention that medically detransitioning is basically just like stopping testosterone. So I was on testosterone for like a year and a half, and it was pretty cool. Everything was going well, like um, up until I saw a YouTube video. Pretty much, I seen this YouTube video of this trans guy who was showing like his baldness, like off of tea. I think he was on testosterone for like five years, something like that though, or maybe it was like nine or 10, I don't even know. But like he was on testosterone for a while and he was balding. And I don't know, that video just kind of got to me and I talked about it in an older video titled something kind of like, I might stop taking testosterone. Um, but I didn't really get into depth on exactly why I stopped. And a big reason is balding. And before you think like, okay, like, dude, like, you're fucking trans. Like, why, why do you not want to go bald? Like, that comes with being a man. That comes with being a guy. Guys go bald. Like, why do you not want to be bald? And what I have to say to that is, I would not mind being a bald man, but I don't want to be a bald woman. So I was on T for a year and a half, and I still didn't 100% pass as male. Only from like the neck up, I looked male, but like from the neck down, I didn't because of my chest, because it's, you know, yeah, my chest. So if I would have continued taking testosterone and if I were to have gotten really unlucky and I got like baldness from it, I would literally look like a bald woman and that's not what, that's not a look I wanted to have, you know what I mean? So I think, um, that was like the number one reason why I was like, I need a fucking, I need to not take testosterone anymore. Even though like I never, like I don't have any full siblings and um, that are men and I don't know what my dad looks like. So I don't know if like balding is a genetic in like my family. So yeah, I literally had no clue when, I have no clue when I'm getting top surgery like at all. And that was like a big thing for me because when I was like a year and a half on testosterone, I thought, you know, every single month I was like, this is gonna be the month that I'm going to like officially pass 100%. And this is gonna be the time that like, everything's just gonna link together and like, I will just be able to just be male and that's it, you know what I mean? But like, I feel like top surgery was like constantly in the back of my head. And I kept on thinking like, I'm not passing, like why am I on testosterone? And I was just, yeah, I was really tripping out about that. I, I wish I would've just got top surgery. Like if at the point that I stopped taking tea, I feel like my two options were like get top surgery or go off testosterone. And like, since I literally couldn't get top surgery, I went on t testosterone, you know? And you guys seen in, of course, my other video about acne. Acne was a really big factor too. It really wasn't like that big of a factor. It was kind of like a small part of it. It was like, okay, I don't want to go bald. I can't get top surgery and on top of it, I have acne. Like I was thinking I was gonna be like, okay. And I thought I was gonna be like a lucky person and like I wouldn't get acne because like a whole like year and like three months, I didn't have acne or something like that. Maybe it was like nine months. I don't know. It was pretty far into my transition of going on tea that I like didn't have acne and I thought I was like good to go and I wasn't gonna get it. But when it hit me, I was like, oh shit, like this is horrible. But that really wasn't like a, like a, an effect that I was like, I need to go off tea because I have acne. You know what I mean? I was kind of just like, I, you know, have all these other reasons and like acne, just like the cherry on top, you know? So at the time that um, I saw that video about that guy who made about the balding um, from testosterone, I started really researching on YouTube other trans guys that stopped taking tea and like, they seemed like they had pretty good lives, like they passed still and like everything was going good. And I was like, why can't I identify as male and like be seen as male and like not have to rely on this testosterone, not have to rely on, you know, taking drugs every single month and shooting myself in the leg, really painful every single week. And like, it, it was just really bad. Like I hated giving myself shots. Like I was switching off between my stomach and my leg. And then like, I went fully to my stomach because, and then like, I would look at my stomach and there would just be like a bunch of scars from like literally giving myself an injection every single week for so long. Yeah, and so those guys on YouTube really kind of gave me that 
push to say, fuck it, I'm going off a tee because they were talking about how they still passed and stuff. And I was like, I probably can still pass. Like, I just need to get top surgery and like, I can pass. And I still think that way now. Like, I feel like once I get top surgery, I am going to pass 100% because that's all I need. You know what I mean? My face isn't 100% like masculine, but it's like in there. And I feel like if I didn't have like a huge chest anymore, it would just like tie it all together and I would look male and I would pass as male and like, of course, changing my name too. And I would just top it off. So, um, yeah. And I guess like the last reason that I stopped taking tea, why I medically detransitioned is because I got my changes. Like you see those videos all the time about, you know, voice changes on testosterone. And it's just so amazing. Like, yeah, their face can sometimes change, but most of the time their face stays the same, like mine kind of. That voice is really what carries it. And I feel like my voice, if it wasn't as deep as right now, I would still be on testosterone. Like I was waiting on my voice drop and it came and I was like, cool, I got my voice drop. I got my little bits of facial hair, even though it's not that much. And my hair didn't go fucking bald. Like, I'm cool, I'm out. It was almost like, I was just like, you know, this is all I need. I think that's pretty much all of the reasons why I stopped taking testosterone. Um, so you kind of get an idea of why I officially did it. And I've been thinking a lot about starting testosterone again. Um, just because, I don't know, I've just been feeling like I don't like pass as much or I want my voice to be deeper. Sometimes I hear other guys' voices, like cis guys or whatever, and they have such deep voices and I'm always thinking like, fuck, like I wish my voice was that deep. Like my voice sounds like shit compared to that. And I don't know, I just feel like my voice is in the middle of like male and female, like it could pass as both, but I want it to only be male, so. I've been thinking a lot about going back on T, even though I might go bold and I don't know, I'm just thinking about everything. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet though, but I will definitely let you guys know. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Later.